Well, hello and good day, people of the internet. My name is QB Robin, whatever, and this, this is my phone. It's the Samsung Galaxy A3 2016, wrong way around. And <laughs> by the name, you can already guess it is pretty old. And to be fair, it is starting to show. There is no fingerprint sensor on the thing. The back of the screen is cracked. The camera is cracked. Uh, the 16 by 9 720p screen is far from modern, but most importantly, it still runs Android 7.0. I love this phone, however. It still has a physical home button. There is no notch. The 4.7 inch screen is, in my opinion, the perfect size for a phone. Look, I can even still use it with one hand. It still fits in my pocket. And with the low resolution screen, the battery life is decent after four years of use. Oh, and <laughs> it has a headphone jack. Now you might be wondering, all right, QB, you got an old phone. Cool, I guess. Show us your new one. But that's not what we're doing today. I honestly don't really like modern phones. The lack of headphone jacks, the increase in the ugly notches, and well, they're becoming huge. Not to forget, they cost money. My phone deserves some recognition. It still works, and trust me, I go pretty rough on my phones. And for what I do on it, my phone is still fully functional. Now, I don't use my phone that often. I watch YouTube on it before I go to sleep. I track my running progress. I take calls and text. But that's about it. No Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, nor Facebook. For a techie nerd, I really don't give a damn about my phone. And for all intended purposes, it's more a tool than a social media hub for me. So, to save myself some money so I can keep buying other dumb expensive shit, I decided my phone needs a revive. Taking pictures on it is next to impossible, opening apps takes most of the time forever, and it not receiving updates anymore makes it riskier and riskier to use every day. So I decided to install Lineage OS on the thing, and why not bring my viewers along? Now, what is Lineage OS? Simply said, it's an open source operating system that actually does get updates. Looking at you here, Samsung. You can download it for free on their website as long as your phone is supported. And, well, there is a tiny catch. This will indefinitely void your warranty on your device, but it's an Android. So if it breaks, you just fix it. Now, it's not an easy process to install Lineage OS or any other OS onto most phones as manufacturers kind of don't want us to do this. In the description, I'll link the Lineage wiki page I use to install the OS on my device. So you can read that too if you want. But Let's do this. To begin, we want to set up ADB on our PC. This is an Android debugging tool that basically allows you to do whatever you want on your Android phone with the help of your computer. XDA developers made a great video showing you how to set it up on your PC, so that will be linked in the description below. Next up, we need to download Odin. The wiki that I linked says we should use Heimdall, but Heimdall frankly sucks, so we're not gonna be doing that. Make sure you download the latest TWRP from their website and enable OEM Unlock on your device. Now, this is where we are entering the steps where you can fully brick your phone if you don't follow along closely. So if you're following along, please do not skip any steps from here on out. Reboot your phone into download mode, which is done by holding the volume down, home and power button all at the same time while booting your device. You'll get prompted with a disclaimer, but feel free to accept it. Now, after doing that, plug your phone into your PC and head over to Odin. If you did everything correctly, your phone should now appear within the software. Click on AP and select the TWRP tar file that you just downloaded before. If your phone now successfully reboots, you did a good job. Immediately hold down the volume up, the home and the power button all at the same time. If not, the phone will just boot and you will have to do this step all over again. The phone now should boot into TWRP and from here on out we can install our Lineage OS. From here we are going to install the Lineage OS package from their website. I'd also recommend getting the Google Apps add-on, as well Android without Google kinda sucks. If your phone is still in recovery mode, navigate to wipe and then format your data. Note, after this all your internal storage will be 100% wiped. If that wipe is done, go back and head over to the advanced wipe and select the cache and the system partitions. Also format those and wait for that to finish. Now we're finally ready to sideload Lineage OS onto our phone. Navigate to advanced and then ADB sideload. Head over to your PC and open a command prompt within your ADB. Type in ADB sideload and then the name of your Lineage OS package and don't forget the .zip. And it should start sideloading Lineage OS onto your phone. If you want to root your device too, you can also do that right now by sideloading the Lineage ARM package that you can get from their website. 
I'm not going to be doing that however, so you can figure that out yourself. Run ADB sideload and Lineage OS should be installing. Yes! If you're ever prompted to install additional apps and services while it's installing, please do not do this as this will most likely break your device. After the installation, Lineage OS should boot and you're done. Your phone is all up to date and you're probably running Android 9 right now. I don't want to say much, but this installation was far more successful than I would have ever thought. It was pretty damn easy to get it running on my phone and the phone itself feels lightning fast again. Apps load, well not super amazingly fast, but a lot faster than before and it feels snappy again. And maybe most importantly, I can do stuff like this now. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Here's a holiday joke. What kinds of cars do elves drive? Toyotas. <sighs> Great. So would I recommend Lineage OS to you, the viewer? I would 100% if you're not looking to buy a new phone. My phone doesn't have the latest features like a fingerprint sensor and everything, and yes, it is something that I will miss in the future, but everything works. I can check my YouTubes, I can run my statistics, and it doesn't take me five seconds to load an app anymore, and it kind of feels like new. And not to forget, it's a lot safer, now it actually has updates. Would I recommend to you, the viewer, to download Lineage OS onto your phone? If your phone still gets updates, I would not, but if you have an older phone that doesn't get updates anymore, sure, yes I would. The installation was not as difficult as I would have thought, and with the tutorial there is right now, I think you'll actually be able to do it. I mean, yeah, this was for specifically my phone, but the installation doesn't vary a lot on other Android devices. So, I'm happy about my phone, I can probably use it for another year or so, and maybe you're gonna follow along too. If you like this video, then don't forget to drop a like, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. My name is QRO on whatever, and I hope to see all of y'all in the next one. Bye.